uh, I guess you'd call it a rational equation here. We're trying to solve the expression for n. Now notice that if we multiplied this left-hand side out, we would have eight distinct terms, and it would probably be a difficult process from that point of view. So the best idea here is to actually simplify each of these parenthetical quantities. Now the, what I wanted to show you here, and this is a step that got left out when I was learning math, but notice that we can rewrite one is just this, right? And then in a similar fashion, we can rewrite this one as this, all right? And of course, we can do the same thing from here to here. Now, what's the motivation there? The motivation is that we have a built-in common denominator here. We have a built-in common denominator. And then what we can do right here is notice that once we have the n plus 2, n plus 2, we can just add the two numerators to get n plus 3. And the same thing all the way across. You see n plus 3 plus 1 is n plus 4. Now you still might think, well, what's going on here? This doesn't look very favorable. But at least we have a product. And the thing that's very, very, very useful right here is that we have a lot of common factors canceling. n plus 3 will cancel with this n plus 3. And then this n plus 4 will cancel with this n plus 4 because n plus 4 over n plus 4 is just 1. And so we can cancel out if there's just 1's in there. And we're just left with a, a pretty manageable expression right here. We're just left with n plus 5 in the numerator. And n plus 2 in the denominator. And that's still equal to the constant on the right-hand side, which is uh, 76 over 75. Now, just a, a fairly basic arithmetic truth is if you have two fractions equal to each other, you will also get an equality when you cross multiply right here. So if you cross multiply, if you cross multiply right here, you would get 75 times this, which would lead to uh, let me just write it underneath. Uh, we would have 75 n. Again, y'all, we're just we're just cross multiplying, which is a, a valid operation when you have equal fractions. Uh, five times 75 is 375. Okay, and then. Uh, Likewise, we will cross multiply this num denominator with this numerator, and so you would get uh, 76 n. 76 n. And then 2 times 76, I believe, is 152. Okay. Now, carrying on right here, carrying on, we'll end up with, uh, if you subtract, I'll just write it like this, folks. I'll subtract 75n from both sides. So we'll get n right here. Okay. And then this number, I think, let's see, when you subtract uh, 152 from this, you would get, it looks like 223. Right, folks? 223 plus this number is 375, right? 375. So y'all, this would be your final answer right here. N is equal to 223. That's the answer uh, to this original equation. Now, notice I've, I'm not brave enough to try to, that would be a pain uh, to, mul to substitute this in here. And I, I don't even wanna be part of that, you know? So this is an instance of where I'm not really too proud of the solution, I know it's correct unless I made some mistakes down here, but we get n is equal to 223 um, as our final solution. And again, if anybody sees an easy way to check this without a calculator, let me know. Thank you for viewing.